Welcome to 2020. For this year, if you're just turning into my channel for the very first time, I am Rochelle. My brand is a DIY affiliate and I help new online entrepreneurs and business owners grow an online business. If you want to learn the new trending marketing strategies to increase your network profile, become an influencer, create a brand and make an impact with online video, then you are in the right place. In this video, you will learn the five most popular types of domain or brand names to choose for your business. And I will give you just the facts, just the facts. Let's get down to business. Instead of asking yourself, what should my domain name be? Switch it up. What should my brand name be? The difference between marketing and branding. Marketing is a context or message you are sending through your online different streams of income. Your brand is who you are. And it should be unique and authentic. A value that you are offering to the World Wide Web. Your representative online. What represents you? Mine is DIY Affiliate. It also should be easy to spell, easy to say, and also what does it look like by itself and what will it look like in a logo. Marketing Brand Strategy 1, Personal Brand Marketing. Creating a domain or brand name with your first and last name your personal experience and expertise. So by branding your domain as a personal brand, it, gi it kind of gives you more of a celebrity status. In a sense, it's a little bit easier to do. It gives extra credibility and trust and authority by putting you in the spotlight. Does your business revolve around you? Do you want to be in the spotlight? Are you talking about your personal expertise? then this might be the right choice for you. So here is a website that I found. A person's first and last names and then dot com. This is the first kind which is a personal brand. And even if you don't want to use a personal brand right now, you might want to use it in the future. It is always a good idea to get a domain name with a personal brand. Just to have so that you have it and nobody else has your name. Because you can use it for other things other than your website like a resume or a link, your social um, media accounts. It's just something to think about. This will help you grow your brand, grow your business online. So you want to keep your options open. And always know that you have your name available if you need. Another thing to mention that it's always a good idea. So I think it's a good idea to put your face out in front of your business and show the world, hey, I am a real person. It, it just gives that much more credibility and trust when a person sees that you are a real person. 
Okay, so that was the first type of domain brand. You would use a personal brand as a domain brand name where the business content information is based off of personal experience. It works best for entrepreneurs, business owners, affiliates, mentors, experts, personal development, artists, musicians, authors, to name a few. Marketing strategy number two, generic descriptive marketing. A generic brand marketing definition is a word or phrase that is used to describe some general or vague group or class rather than a specific thing. An example is art, art.com. Descriptive brand names are those you recognize as a common word or phrase used frequently, such as smart, happy, loving. Generic descriptive brand marketing uses the generic word art with descriptive words such as smartart.com, happyart.com, lovingart.com, or a couple of keywords describing or being exactly descriptive of the subject that your business is about. For example, if you go to art.com you can see here it says art.com when you look at it you can see it's a quicker and easier way of being able to relate content of what your site is about without people actually having to go to the site to find out the advantage when people are saying your brand name, in this case it's art.com, people can immediately recognize what your website is about. Now, keep in mind that Google has changed their algorithm in how they rank exact match domains. And you can actually get penalized for using the exact match keywords. So, to keep that in mind, just use one or two keywords if you are using this type of brand. Another example is smartart.com. So now here they are using the generic descriptive brand, but they have put the word smart in front. What a person sees and identifies or relates to are examples of generic or descriptive brand names. So smart art or art.com kind of gives you the impression in the domain name. It makes you think, yes, smart art. Maybe I should check that out. Three, suggestive brand marketing names indicate what a product or service delivers. Suggestive brand marketing uses analogies, metaphors, and associations to create the domain brand name. What is an analogy? A similarity between like features of two things on which a comparison may be based. The analogy between the heart and the pump. A form of reasoning in which one thing, the pump, is suggested to be similar to another thing in a certain respect, the heart. Pump because both are pumps. Twitter is another example of suggested brand marketing using an analogy. Twitter is an analogy of birds on a social platform tweeting to each other. 
The birds are suggestive of people. Tweeting is suggestive of talking to each other on social media platforms called Twitter. Metaphors. A, a figure of speech, a term or phrase is used to represent something else or a new word. Metaphors make powerful domain brand names. What makes a metaphor powerful? It suggests a simple and strong image in a person's mind. For example, Amazon, an impressive river. Words are powerful. We use metaphors all the time and most people will recognize and make the association right away. As shown in the next example, mindmixer.com is an example of suggestive brand marketing. MindMixer is a tool that leverages the power of the internet and social media to connect organizations with community members who might not otherwise get involved. So the two words together is mind plus mixer. The created new word is mindmixer.com. Two words here together making a suggestion of the Mind Mixer community engagement platform and then so on and so forth. Marketing Brand strat Strategy 4 Arbitrary Fanciful Brand Marketing Arbitrary or fanciful marketing are mostly used in company trademarks but also can be very powerful for a brand name. Fanciful means the words themselves have no meaning other than to indicate a brand or product. As an example, Exxon. Exxon. Exxon by itself has no meaning, but put together in a domain, it shows us here mobile fuels and here you could see the promotion another example is Google Google by itself has no meaning however Google is the number one search engine in the world arbitrary marketing brand the words have a different meaning when applied to a unique product or service and is unrelated. Example, apple. Apple is a fruit. There is no relation of a fruit and an iPhone 11 or iPad, watches, TV, or music. This is a perfect example of arbi arbitrary. Another example is shell. Shell is a seashell, yet it is an energy company. Brand Strategy 5, Hybrid Brand Marketing. You can take the five different types and combine multiple brand strategies together, and this is called taking a hybrid approach. The four brand strategies that we've already learned in this video, which is the personal, first or last name, the generic suggestive analogies, metaphors, and association, arbitrary and fanciful. And here you can mix and match them. I name descriptive, first name suggestive, first name arbitrary, first name fanciful, first name suggestive, last name fanciful, last name generic descriptive to name a few and as an example I have found this website which is marshallstrategy.com and here you can say your last name and then added a descriptive word strategy.com and it also is a brand agency so it fits nice with this tutorial. 
This list of do's and do nots can save your time and money. Research tips to keep in mind. Keep it as short as possible, 10 to 20 characters, easy to remember so that people can keep it in their mind. Not too generic because it makes it less unique, more creative, more distinctive, and your domain extensions try to use the .com. Most people expect .com. This is the World Wide Web. It is the most prominent one. Do not use numbers such as number one or the number one. It can cause confusion. Try not to use homonyms. Words that sound the same but are spelt different. As an example, pair and pair. Try not to use slashes. As an example, smart dash or slash art or punctuation smart hyphen art. De and it also depends on your research. But people can also get confused and not end up going to your website. What happens when you cannot get the brand domain name that you want? Do you use filler words? Filler words dilutes your brand, but they can also work sometimes for you. As an example, the original domain is place.com. If you put a prefix which goes before the keyword, children is the prefix, pre prefix keyword, place is a keyword, and you have children's place.com. Or a suffix which goes after the keyword, place.com, place1.net is a place that I found online. Do not choose a domain name similar to someone else's. This can cause confusion and possible legal problems. Use a dictionary and thesaurus to enrich your keyword vocabulary and say it over a few times. How easy is it to say? How easy is it to remember? How easy is it to spell? How easy is it to type out? And then check your chosen name in the Google search engine, the YouTube search engine, and the Pinterest search engine. And this will give you an idea of where you will end up. Mine is the DIY Affiliate. This is Google. This is Pinterest. And this is YouTube. Once you are ready, and you have your domain name picked out, then you can go and choose a domain or brand name through HostGator and stay connected with me. You can get your domain name free with a hosting package. We're giving out free domains with hosting and you just click in there where it says check it out. This whole website here is built with the Gator Website Builder. It's a drag and drop responsive, easy to put together uh, website. I have tutorials that will walk you through using the design editor. I am an affiliate and I can answer any questions you have. Disclaimer, I am an affiliate and I will make a commission from HostGator if you purchase a domain name or a Gator website builder. When you become a DIY affiliate associate, associate, I'm just going to click here, then you will then 
have access to this membership site. You will have your own profile picture, your own cover picture, and these are the sizes, the cover picture and the profile picture. Social media outlets as well as your profile, tell us about you, your nickname, your country, language spoken, your business website, and other social media outlets. You can create a post and you can also have comments. When you become an asso associate with the DIY Affiliate Associates program, I will put your business card here. This new promotion, when you become an associate, I will create an online business card and then put your online business here. Card is created through Canva. In the video gallery here, When you register today to be a DIY Affiliate Associate, I will put your best video here. Everything is designed to help you grow your online network profile. So I hope this has been helpful. I look forward to any comments that you may have. I can answer any questions that you may have. If you have liked this video, if you found it helpful to you, then please click the like button. If you have not subscribed to my channel, then subscribe to my channel so that you are notified of all new videos that I have. This is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate. Wishing everybody a wonderful evening.